Since we talk about how to fix Mercedes 7G Tronic problems and 722.9 conductor play symptoms, couple friends ask, what's the difference between 7G Tronic and 7G Tronic Plus? Do they use the same oil? Are they basically the same engines? So, in today's video, I'm going to discuss the difference between Mercedes 7G Tronics and 7G Tronic Plus, the common problems of them and how to maintain them. Mercedes-Benz modified 722.9 in 2010 as there were some problems with the original model. So, first, let's see the common problems of 7G Tronics and the solutions. Number one, delay or unpredictable shifting of gears. The suggested solution is to upgrade the TCU software and reset the transmission shift points. Number two, hard shifting problem, which means the transmission does not work properly till it is warm up. Number three, the gear gets stuck in second gear when accelerate. Normally, this will go with the limb home mode symptom. When the car has the limb home mode, you can turn off the engine to temporarily return the transmission to normal situation. Then, without our reminding, you have to let mechanics to have a check at once. Number four, conductor plate defective. We had many transmission shop customers will buy the TCU plate from us and proceed to the replacement for car owner to shield the TCEM defective province. Down below, I will list our 722.97 G-Tronic TCU link for repair shop's reference. Here we want to gently remind, please visit the dealer or the auto shops that have Mercedes Diagnostic C3 or C4 scanner. The experienced mechanics will plug in the OBG2 scanner to diagnose the error codes to figure out what's going wrong. Here, I don't go the error codes, but if you need the related information, comment below and I will prepare for you guys. With the specific error codes, the mechanics will now know how to proceed the replacement. Sometimes it is the TCU plate itself failed, so replace the plate with reconnect the car computer should be fine. Sometimes it is the transmission so noise went wrong, which happened a lot on Honda cars and you can check our before video. When the transmission so noise went wrong, the error codes, like we list here, will appear to tell you which sonoid had the value. Obviously, the gear shifting is the classic problem for 7G Tronic. And that's why, in year 2010, Mercedes-Benz proceeded the modification and launched the 7G Tronic Plus. The target for the 7G Tronic Plus is to provide smoother shifting and better fuel economy. Meanwhile, it is equipped with the star-stop engines, which means we can assume that the engines are different from 7G Tronic versus the 7G Tronic Plus. So, it's very easy to tell your C 250 CDI has a 7G Tronic or 7G Tronic Plus. The 7G Tronic Plus will equip with stop start button to provide the stop stop engine function. The 7G Tronic is for supercharged engines and the 7G Tronic Plus is for turbocharged engines. Also, it provides zero slip and the torque converter on the 7G Tronic Plus. And here, we just answer the most frequent asked question, and that is, what's the difference between 7G Tronic versus the 7G Tronic Plus? From the comparison, you can see design difference very clearly. With this modification, 7G Tronic Plus is able to provide a quicker and smoother response from the pedal position. Then, the second question most car drivers may ask is, 
that 7G Tronic M Plus use the same transmission fluid? Well, the answer is no. The 7G Tronic Plus requires a new transmission fluid, which is blue color, while the gear oil for 7G Tronic is red. The 722.97G Tronic Plus uses the new type transmission fluid, which Mercedes claimed it is the world's lowest viscosity gear oil. With the advanced development of automatic transmission, some vehicles may never change their transmission fluid. So, the question of how often should you get a transmission flush may become a controversial topic sometimes. Years ago, Mercedes-Benz ever claimed that these transmissions were designed for life and never need oil change. But now, they change their mind and they recommend changing the gear oil. Our suggestion here is always to refer to your car owner menu. Keep eyes on the value symptom, which we will talk later, and consult with your auto shop if any symptom occurred. In between 7G Plus and the classic 7G Tronic, both exist in the market. The third question you may want to know is, is it possible to fit a newer conductor plate like VGS3 into the classic 7G Tronic plate like VGS2 or VGS1? Well, the answer is positive. Before we start to discuss the conduct plate versus the veil body, let me quickly recap the milestone of 722.9 conduct plates. The VGS1 switched over to VGS2 in 2005. VGS2 switched over to VGS3 in 2008. And the VGS4 is introduced in 2012. As we remember, the new 7G Tronic Plus was launched in 2010, which means the classic 7G Tronic will have VGS1 to VGS3, these three different conduct plates in the market. The earlier version, like VGS1, will require you to replace both conductor plate and the veil body. And if your 7G Tronic is equipped with VGS2 or VGS3, you can just replace the conduct plate solely. In between 2004 to 2008, Mercedes Benz had a very high value rate for the veil body and VGS1. The main reason to cause this problem is usually the speed sensors which locate in the conduct plate. If you scan your vehicle with the diagnostic scanner, these error codes will tell you which sensors went wrong. Normally, we don't replace the speed sensors, so the solution you can do is to replace the whole conduct plate with the veil body. Once the VGS1 and veil body are replaced, it can extend the life of whole transmission system. If the veil body and conduct plate fail, you will experience these symptoms. Number one, very often the transmission will stuck in the second gear. Number two, the leap home mode occurs. Number three, the car can't drive at speed over 40. Number four, gear shifting is erratic. Number five, car can't move even you rev high. So here, let me give you one little tip. If you are really lucky to encounter the Lim home mode, you can turn off the engine and start the engine again. It should return the transmission to no more situation temporary. Take the opportunity, drive your car to your auto shops for the profound checking. Do you ever experience the Lim home mode? Please leave the comments below to let me know your story. Or if you are interested in any specific car problems, leave a comment below to let us know. Alright my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave a comment below to let me know how do you like our video. 
Meanwhile, next week I will talk about the common problems of BMW M forty seven engine. So remember to subscribe, thumbs up, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you very soon next week. Adios.